So DaVinci Resolve has finally arrived on the iPad. I've got here the very latest M2 12.9 inch iPad Pro running DaVinci Resolve. This is the sixth generation iPad and I've set up a project here. It's a two minute project, uh, all Ultra HD, and I've just set it up to put it through its paces and show you just how well it actually performs. However, I've also got an 11 inch iPad Pro. This is the M1 chip. So this is the older model. It's the third generation. And these two projects are absolutely identical. So I'm gonna put a few speed tests up and see just how well they behave against each other. So let's go and take a look. So let me talk you through the project. It's two identical one minute sequences. So we've got a two minute sequence. It's ultra HD footage, but I'm outputting it as 1080. And the first nine clips here are the first one minute sequence. And then there's an identical one after that. And they've basically just got one base grade on here. I'm in a color managed workflow. So I've got my color management on. And then when we see the second sequence, I've basically added some more effects. So let's have a look at what we've got. So this is the first shot. I've got a bit of glow on there. My second shot, I've got some keying going on. This one here, I have got some noise reduction, which I've switched on and off in the test. I've got a fusion title on here. And on this one, I've used the HDR tools. I've done some keying. I've got a layer mixer going on. I've got a power window and I've added some grain. So this one's quite a tough shot. And then the final two, I've got a bit of halation and the color walker on it. So it gives you an idea of what sort of effects I'm using. And that's what we're gonna to use to put it through its paces. So let's take a look at the results. Obviously identical project, it's the same two minute sequence on both, same effects, identical settings. And the first test I did was, uh, I set it to ProRes 42HQ at 1080p. The M1 iPad did that in one minute and two seconds, and the M2 iPad took just 29 seconds. So it's literally twice as fast to render on the M2. Now I did the same ProRes setting, but with noise reduction on one of the clips and the M1 iPad then took one minute 47 seconds with noise reduction, and the M2 took 54 seconds with noise reductions. Now, I did the same test, but with H.265 as a setting. The M1 11 inch iPad Pro took one minute 28 to render out at H.265, and the M2 took 55 seconds, so about 30% increase in speed when it was H.265. And in terms of playback, I was getting real-time performance throughout. Even when I switched these to Ultra HD, all the effects played back in real-time. Apart from obviously the noise reduction, the 11-inch iPad M1 went down to about three, four frames per second. The M2 went down to about nine frames per second, but still pretty impressive. So don't forget the 11 inch iPad Pro I was using here is the older chipset. There is an M2 one available. I'd also recommend the Apple Pencil. This works really well with DaVinci Resolve. Look after yourselves and I'll see you in the next episode.